not only is it an eyesore, but there's kind of a safety component that goes with it too, walking you know, past the encampment at, at night. It's a little shady. Neighbors tell me they don't want to demonize the homeless, but they do want to feel safe. And after repeated issues, they decided it was time to reclaim their street. About five weeks ago, a group of neighbors raised $700 to clean up garbage, human waste and needles left behind by one of the camps and planted about 80 rose bushes in its place. I think it's great. I think it's a, a, a step in the right direction and moving forward and kind of getting trash and everything else just kind of cleaned up and more presentable. ODOT recently learned the roses were planted on their property without a permit and initially told neighbors they had to be removed by April 1st. We so appreciate that they want to do this because, you know, we can't be everywhere all the time. And people wanting to take ownership for their own area is terrific. But we do have a process for, for doing these kinds of things, and we appreciate people working with us on doing it right. ODOT is now working with neighbors to get a permit and says the roses can stay, but the handmade sign and the ribbons tied around each one need to go. We are asking that those be removed because they could be safety hazards, uh, a distraction to drivers, and actually contribute to trash in the area if they don't stay tied to the roses. Neighbors disagree telling me the sign and ribbons are just as important and say it's no more of a distraction than the piles of trash that were once there. That issue has yet to be resolved. But in the meantime, folks tell me the new plants seem to be making a difference. There's only one tent that's come back. The rest are now farther down the road. Very, very big difference. Definitely not a lot of uh, tents or uh, little encampments there. So it seems to be working.